good morning welcome or welcome back to my channel it's me Aisha Elaine if you're new here hello hi and if you're not new welcome back um, in today's video I just wanted to do a fun little cozy vlog we have a huge announcement in this video but I'm waiting to hear details about what's going on with that situation before I actually announce it I might I actually will talk about it in this video at some point um but yeah it's just a fun home vlog that I have for you guys uh, today is currently Thursday so it was my late day at work so I was able to sleep in um, I still got up early but when I came home from the gym um, I ended up laying down after my shower and just relaxing and decided that I wanted to pick up the vlog and start vlogging for you guys. So, like I said, I'm working right now. I'm about to hop back into work and start my work day. It's barely, it's like almost 11 at this point, so I need to start prepping for that. And yeah, I've basically just had a really slow morning. I want to take y'all along with me the next few days as I reset my house. I need to do a lot of cleaning and I swear I clean in every vlog. I'm sorry. But that's just my life and when I'm vlogging and showing you guys what I have going on, that's just what I have going on. Um, so yeah, so today I'm just going to be cleaning, I'm going to be working, and I'm also going to cook dinner. So I'll show you guys just an easy dinner recipe that I um, put together. But um, I feel like I'm living in my resolutions and have been doing really well with that. Um, if you want an update on 75 Hard, I stopped. It was just a toxic situation and i was it was just not healthy for me personally um i did not like it at all the first week was fine but as i got into the second week i realized like i just became over obsessed with how much weight i was losing how many calories i was burning what i was eating just being like over excessive and so i just stopped like it just wasn't a healthy thing so i'm not doing 75 hard anymore but i am sticking to my resolution of getting up really early working out and then actually getting ready for work um, if you didn't watch my budgeting video, you guys would know that I am not buying like clothes or anything like that, but I do want to get myself ready for the day. So I have like a bunch of these. The green one is obviously my favorite color. I wear it all the time, but I really want to focus on getting ready every day. I feel like it makes me way more productive when I come into work and yeah, I just like the way that I feel when I'm put together and that's what I'm going to start doing. I did that this morning. I put myself together a little bit, put on a little bit of makeup, just a little bit like eyebrows and a little bit of blush and this is literally chapstick and I feel a thousand times better so if you need a pick-me-up definitely do whatever makes you feel good about yourself because it's gonna make you so much more productive but anyway like I said I'm gonna hop on to work really quick I just wanted to do a quick little intro to the vlog and then I'll chat with you guys about the situation the announcement I might wait for Jordan to get home to do it but we'll see hopefully I'll have an update on that before I actually announce it but yeah I'm currently on my lunch break and I'm very tired but we just got some coats in there's supposed to be like this really bad winter storm coming I don't know if it's you would consider it a storm but like here in Texas Dallas whatever it's supposed to be really really cold next week so I went ahead and ordered Jordan and I some jackets and I had to order groceries and all of that because I wasn't sure how bad this was gonna be so I want to clean up because I don't know like I'd rather reset on Fridays or Thursdays or Fridays um, so that I can actually spend the weekend resting and not having to worry about like deep cleaning so I placed a pickup order for Kroger tomorrow after my morning workout so I'll take you guys with me when I actually go to the gym in the morning um, I'm going to go to that at 6 a.m. and then pick up groceries. So I want to clean the kitchen up now so that I don't have to worry about it later. But I'm going to go pick up our jackets today from Jordan's parents' house. Because we live in an apartment complex, I don't like ordering groceries to 
the apartment, obviously. I like to get them sent to, not groceries, what, the, what am I talking about? I don't like getting stuff sent to our house for the most part, depending on what it is. Like Amazon, I'll deliver to our house because they'll just drop it off at the door. But like jackets, anything, like clothes, anything getting shipped with like UPS or USPS or FedEx, honestly, anything else, I'll ship it to Jordan's parents' house because they'll just deliver almost everything to their door. And I don't have to worry about all the drama. No one steals here or anything like that. But for whatever reason, we always have issues with deliveries anytime we get stuff delivered here. So it's just annoying. But I'm kind of annoyed with our apartment complex right now. Besides this, we've never had issues with them. Um, but we've just been having a lack of communication about our announcement. Um, and so we're trying to figure out what we're going to do about that. Um, I'm going to talk about it, obviously, in this vlog. But I want to make sure I know what's going on before I make an announcement about it. So I'd rather just keep quiet. And then once I get details about what's happening, then I'll be able to announce everything for you guys. But I don't know if I showed y'all. Look at how cute this is. We got this for Christmas. It's literally the cutest thing i'm just leaving it here for now i don't know if i'm going to keep it there but we also got this like charcuterie board situation it's um it's like a recipe book for charcuterie boards and then my mom also got us this as well and i just keep all my cake cups in there but yeah so that's basically a little house update i feel like i always have house updates but that's just because we're always getting gifted something or buying something so yeah So I wanted to show you guys my like skincare routine and some products that were gifted to me by Clinique while I talk you guys through our new dilemma. So I know I've been alluding to the fact that I had an announcement. So I decided I was going to talk you guys through that while I did this and showed you guys my skincare. So anyway right now we are currently in the process of moving so that's the huge announcement we are moving um now to give you guys an idea of the dilemma that we're currently dealing with our apartment complex um we're staying with our current apartment complex we love our complex um before i got into the story i wanted to show you guys this clinique take the day off um you know face wash basically well it's not like a face wash it's almost like a cleansing cream that you can use to take your makeup off so i don't have a whole bunch of makeup on but i do have eyebrows and um a little bit of concealer on so it was gifted to me by clinique so i just wanted to give my little review on it and how i've been liking it i've been using it for like a week and a half now i don't put makeup on often but when I do, I do, I have been using this. And honestly, I do like it. It actually does not have a scent, which I really like because a lot of the times, a lot of products have a lot of scents and stuff on it. But I like the fact that this doesn't have a scent to it. And literally, your makeup comes right off. Like, I actually like it a lot. I'm really just focusing it where I actually put my makeup. And it's literally coming right off like right off my hands but anyway so i do like the product a lot i think it's super easy to use like i said the scent literally doesn't exist which i love because i have allergies really bad and so i don't really like super duper heavily scented products anyway so this is literally amazing but to get back to my story i I'm in the dilemma of deciding between two different units. So basically, there is a one bedroom unit that is available coming up next week. Like we would literally have to move in next week, but we'd be saving $200 a month from what we're paying now, which is huge. Um, right now we're paying $15.50 for rent. This one is $13.50. So we would be saving a crap ton of money. Um, here is Neutrogena. I just have the travel size version. When I try something for the first time, I do like to use um 
I do like to buy a travel size version of the product. But anyway, um, the next unit is a two bedroom unit in a different building. So the one bedroom is in our unit, literally downstairs. The two bedroom is in a whole another unit in the complex and uh, that one is $200 more than what we're paying and if you watch my financial videos you know I've been talking about saving money we really loved the idea of having a two bedroom just because I have family that lives out of the city like four hours away so if they were to come visit they would have to stay the night and then we also have friends that do live in other states and cities as well and so I also loved the idea of having an office, like a real office, and so that was a huge factor in us wanting to do the two beds. So we originally applied for the two bedroom. Um, we haven't found a lease yet, obviously, but then this one bedroom became available, and we just thought that it was just the perfect opportunity. It's literally downstairs. The moving process won't be super duper difficult, which is really nice, and so we really loved the idea of the one bedroom there's a lot of benefits to it but the only downside is we'd literally have to get up and move next week and so that's the biggest issue that we're currently running into that makes us a little nervous because we're not sure if we're able to do that right now that's just a lot to ask of us to move in right now or like literally next week I am 100% not prepared to move at all we literally have to, I would have to take a few days to like pack up the house and all the things. So we're going to have to talk about it tonight and see if that's something realistically we're able to pull off. If not, that's perfectly fine with me. We just go the two bedroom route or we could also find another one bed um, and move into another one bed that's available at a later date. But the reason we really like this one bed, it is smaller than the one bedroom we have now, which is perfectly fine with us. We don't have kids. Uh, we really don't have people over very often, to be honest. And we just thought that it would be a great opportunity because, for one, it's on the bottom floor. It's literally floor to ceiling windows, 10 feet ceilings. Um, it's just aesthetically really nice, like nicer than our apartment. And so we thought that that would be great because we both do content. And so um that new one bedroom apartment actually still comes with a built-in desk and everything that this apartment comes with there's not as much storage in that apartment but we can rent out storage units at this apartment complex for literally like less than twenty dollars a month so we might just do that but um i do use this like vaseline on my face as my lotion so these were the three products that i use like i said i used the clinique take the day off i use neutrogena the hydro version because it's really dry outside and really cold and i use that vaseline on my face so yes really 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 love the clinique take the day away it's really soft it left my skin really soft i love mixing those products together and ending my face with vaseline because i just have dry skin and so um i love that this product didn't dry my face out it still feels really nice so yeah, so that's my review on the clinic and my little story time about what's going on with the apartment. We should have an update in the morning, so I'll chat with you guys and let you guys know what we decided to do then. We just got our coat package. Here she is. Jordan got a coat too. Hopefully they're actually good quality because these were really cheap from JC Penny. Because I thought this was the outside. I was like, I did not sign up for that. <laughs> yeah, you ate the fur. I do, it's not my aesthetic. <laughs> Does it look thick? Does it feel thick? Mm -hmm. Winter soldier thick. I got an extra large because I figured I'd be layering underneath. I think I did the right thing by getting an extra large because look. This is my coat. Ooh, this is like really thick. Do you like it? Mm -hmm. It's actually really cute and it has a hoodie on it. I think it's detachable. So, is the hoodie here? I thought I seen a hoodie. There's a hoodie right here. Oh, there you go. Ha! This is the hoodie. This is actually really cute. Does it feel warm? Mm -hmm. This has a hoodie too. Hold on. 
winter soldier coat. That's what I call this. Oh, this is nice. Do 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 do. I haven't had a coat, you guys, in like years. Like a real coat. Mm -hmm. I haven't had a real coat in literal, literal years. That's crazy. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the morning. It's currently Friday. So excited. Today is the last day of my work week. So very excited about that. I got ready for the day. And I know last night I talked to you guys about the whole apartment situation. Well, we finally got everything situated. I'm literally so excited. I'm going to look at our apartment today. Our apartment today so we end up going the one bedroom route just because it just made the most sense that apartment is almost two hundred dollars cheaper than what we're paying now so it just makes sense um it is a little bit smaller so i do have to sell a few things um so i already created the listings and i have people scheduled to pick things up today so that's really nice um yeah i'm excited about the floor to ceiling windows i'm excited about all that i'll show you guys little clips of it in this video but i'll go look at the apartment today make sure everything looks good approve it and then if we like it we'll go ahead and move forward with that one um but yeah i'm just very excited to move i love moving i love getting having a new space so that's really exciting so yeah i'm just waiting to go handle that situation um and then i also have an update with our dresser if you watched my last home vlog you would know that our dresser actually has a missing um drawer it's not missing but it's not the piece didn't come built correctly so or um yeah it just didn't come correct so i couldn't build it properly so we're gonna get um that piece sometime next week so we'll be able to finish building that and then we can move it and all the things but we already have the drawers all organized this is jordan's side his stuff is all over the place but yeah so this is this is what it looks like let me back up and show you but to give you guys an idea of what i'll be selling i'm selling this rug because it's a one bedroom apartment so we don't need all of them so i'm selling that one and we're going to be putting that huge one in our bedroom in the next place i'm selling the small olive tree because we actually have a larger one that i want to keep in here instead i'm debating whether i want to sell this picture or not because that could actually go above our bed but i'm unsure what what's the vibe that i'm going with um we just thrifted this table but we bought it for 40 bucks i'm gonna sell it for 60 because i did spend the time painting it and making it look nicer so just this two-piece set i'm selling these side chairs because we just won't have the space for it um what else oh i'm also selling our patio furniture because we literally barely ever use our patio and honestly the next place does have a, a like a patio but it's a lot smaller so 
um, there's no point in keeping it. And we're selling our couch for more than what we bought it for, which is nice, it's Facebook Marketplace. We barely ever used this couch, so I'm selling the couch and hopefully we can get something for it. I already have a few people who want to pick the couch up, but that's a little update on what's going on. I'm about to leave in like 30 minutes to go check the apartment out and kind of finalize the details. Thankfully, because we already paid January's rent, we won't have anything due move-in day because we're moving next week and there's still gonna be like a whole nother week of the month left, so there's no prorated rent that we have to pay. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit of an update. I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on. I'm gonna go ahead, get dressed. I'll show you guys my outfit and all that. And I'll catch you guys when I'm in the new apartment. Here's my outfit. I just have on this like blue sweatshirt that I already have on. This jacket that I got last night because it's freezing outside. Ugh, I had clothes on the floor. These um, Gymshark socks and then just some plain black leggings. This is the fit. I'm gonna throw on my like Target Birkenstock slide situations. And yeah, don't say anything if you see me repeat this outfit because I will wear this to the store tomorrow when we go grocery shopping again or like do our second round of winter prep grocery shop, whatever. Um, so just be prepared. But I actually really think this outfit is cute. I put my hair up in a ponytail and left a little bit out. So super cute. I'll talk to you guys when I get to the apartment. literally in the new apartment and my heart is like thumping it's so beautiful look how high these ceilings are 10 foot ceilings do you hear the echo in here this is gonna be awesome like this is absolutely gorgeous i'm so excited i'm gonna film this apartment tour empty apartment tour really really fast and then i'll show you guys like little glimpses of the apartment afterwards currently in the closet and I need to show y'all the current state of our closet this is what we're working with I really want to work on decluttering this space and throwing out or donating anything that we don't use this whole box is Christmas stuff so obviously that's staying but everything else is just like a lot of just random stuff so I'm gonna work on decluttering the closet so that when we're transitioning to move, we can just take all the clothes on the hangers and just put them in our like little cart thing. So that's the goal. And then I'll organize all the stuff later. But I just need to organize everything now so that we can see what we're working with and figure out what we want to donate.
I'm all kinds of out of breath. I just had to run downstairs because I sold our patio furniture. So that's gone. So that's one less thing that we have to worry about. Um, there's a guy that's coming to pick up our accent chairs. Y'all, I found the cutest, cutest accent chairs on Amazon. Hold on, let me show you. Because I literally have to have these chairs. Like, they're absolutely gorgeous. Look at this chair. Hold on, let me set you guys down so you can see it better. Hold on. You're sitting on my Stanley right now. But um, look how beautiful this chair is. It's a green color swivel. I want to get two of them. And then look at this like um, like little accent table next to it. And I was thinking, I, I found one from Target that I really like. Or I could keep that one for now. It's not that big of a deal. But oh my gosh, this chair is absolutely gorgeous. And imagine it with the rug that we have now. And then I found a really cute couch that I like off Amazon too. So let me show you the couch that I want to get. It's literally only $600. And I looked at the reviews and the pictures and stuff. And it literally looks exactly like the picture. So let me make sure my address is not in this. It's like a two-seater couch. Hold on. This is what it looks like. Look how cute that is. That's so cute. Anyway. That's the little update. Who else do I have? I have someone coming also to pick up the olive tree in our room it's too small and we haven't we, i just bought a brand new one from walmart for like 50 bucks so i'm selling that one for 40 so i really technically made my money back um but yeah so i'm gonna to wrap up my work day and then i need to run to the store like i told y'all earlier there's like this winter storm that's supposed to be coming so i want to make sure that we have enough food and we're prepared for it so jordan and i are gonna to run to walmart and then i'll take you guys with this to walmart and yeah i don't really have anything else going on so i'll talk to you guys later hello guys we're in the car headed to kroger i have someone that's coming to pick up our accent chair soon so i gotta hurry up um and then jordan's gonna go to the gym because he loves to leave me even though it's supposed to be date night he's leaving me to go work out Look how full this parking lot is. Oh my gosh. We have a taco seasoning at home. We just need yogurt, milk, and bread. Is that? Okay, you guys, so we just sold our accent chairs. Jordan is so sad. He's so upset. Just selling the stuff, getting rid of our stuff. Cause we're in the olive tree in our room. <laughs> so, yeah. 
So basically, I'm just going to go home and cook dinner. So I'm going to end the vlog here so I can edit this and put it up so y'all can have something to watch. Um, I literally already edited and put up the empty apartment tour, which I won't say that yet. I have it locked until I'm done with this video so that it flows and makes sense. But um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys in the next video, the next video apartment tour, so y'all can finally actually see what the apartment looks like. And I'll chat with you guys in the next video. Bye.